Sony has released A9 Mark III, which is the world's first mirrorless camera, which not only comes with a full frame sensor and a compact mirrorless style body, but this camera also has a global shutter. And because of this global shutter, this camera comes with some pretty unique feature which you have never seen in any camera before. Along with all these benefits, there are also some flaws which are gonna come in this camera due to this global shutter, which we are going to discuss at the end of this video and see how Sony is going to tackle them. But let's first understand what is a global shutter. All the traditional DSLR and mirrorless cameras are comes with a rolling shutter. In rolling shutter cameras, when you take a photo, pixel in your sensor are activated one by one instead of being activated all together. They capture the light and create the photo for you. This all happens so fast in your camera that you don't even realize it. You press the button and photo appears on the screen. The problem arises when you plan to capture a subject with a very high speed. Mostly in cameras with rolling shutter, when you capture any high speed motion, you see distortion which comes because of these pixels are activated one by one. In a global shutter camera, all the pixels are activated simultaneously as soon as you press the shutter button. So therefore, if you ever capture a high action subject with a camera which has a global shutter, then you will never see a distortion in the image. Before this camera, the global shutter was only available in selective high-end cameras, mostly cinema camera. For example, uh, Red Komodo has a global shutter. Sony F35, it is an old camera. It was also, you know, used to have global shutter. And Blackmagic production camera, this one also has a proper global shutter. And this global shutter comes with lots of benefit in our A9 Mark III. The first benefit is distortion free shooting. Normally all the rolling shutter cameras, you pick any camera model, they comes with a physical shutter assembly and this shutter assembly comes with a life cycle. For some cameras it could be a 100k accentuation, for some camera it could be 200k accentuation. And once this assembly reaches to its end of life, it stops working and then you have to replace it. And it is so damn expensive to replace shutter assembly. On the other hand, in Sony A93, there is no physical shutter assembly. This camera comes with a global shutter and an electronic shutter. And since there is no shutter assembly, the durability of this camera is of next level. Normally with all the traditional rolling shutter camera, they comes with a sync speed limitation. So if you are planning to use an external flash with your camera, there is a shutter speed limitation and you cannot cross that. In some camera, that limitation might be a 1 60th of a second. In some camera, it can 250 and in some camera, it can 350. Once you pass the shutter limit, you will start to see the black bending on the photos when you use a flash, which shows that your speed light and your camera is totally out of sync. Now to fix that, there are some specific type of speed lights are available in the market that comes with HSS, that is high speed sync. These lights can support the higher shutter speed of your camera but normally they are expensive if you compare them with a normal flash. Since A93 used the electronic shutter and global shutter, these are the things of the past. Now you can use a flashlight with A9 in any shutter speed. Practically there is no limitation what kind of shutter speed you wanna use. You can shoot in 50th of a second or 80,000th of a second. By the way, the maximum shutter speed of Sony A9 III is 180,000th of a second, which is more than sufficient for freezing any kind of motion. And I guess that is why there is a high chance of this camera getting popular among the sports and wildlife photographers. The next feature which makes this camera pretty unique is its fast burst speed. In this camera, you can capture 120 frames per second that is full resolution raw 24.6 megapixel one file i've never heard of this kind of a speed ever i've seen there are some camera which can go up to 100 fps like sony's is like nikon z9 but they can't do it in raw this camera can do it with full resolution without any quality loss and blazing fast speed this is like, this is super crazy fast. Not only this, but there is another option called pre-capture. In this mode, what camera will do that when you press the shutter button, camera will take a photo, but camera actually take a lot of photo before you press the shutter button. So you will have a series, you can choose the photo. This mode is really helpful because sometimes what happen when we see a subject and we try to photo capture the photo, sometimes we miss the shot. But with this uh, feature, you can go back and see the entire series and select the best frame as per your original vision. It's a game changing feature for lots of sports and event photographers. Another unique feature in this camera is the inclusion of a new custom button C5. 
this button is assigned to a speed bump so for example if you are shooting a scenario and you are capturing it in 30p but suddenly you think that you need to raise the increase to capture more frames all you have to do is to press the c5 button in traditional scenario what you do you go to the menu and change your shutter speed or you know change different setting and meanwhile you might end up losing your shot so tackle the situation sony added this new custom button and again this is going to be a very helpful feature for event sports and wildlife wedding photographers now let's quickly discuss the video features of this camera and then we'll talk about the problem in this camera so in terms of video features this camera can record 4k full frame up to 120p without any cropping you will get uncropped you are also going to get 10 bit 422 color and you are also going to see Sony S Log 2, S Log 3, and S Cine Tone. This camera also give you up to eight stop of dynamic stabilization, which is really good. And this camera comes with a Sony lens breathing composition, like all the new Sony cameras. And last but not the least, this camera can also record raw videos. You can use an external raw recorder and record raw video with this particular camera. And I will not discuss more about the auto focusing performance because Sony cameras are like they always perform best like other camera this camera also has an ai processing unit which further improves its auto focusing capability in video as well as in still modes now let's talk about the problem in this camera uh, and the first one is the dynamic range it's been seen that most of the global shooter camera they have some kind of impact in the dynamic range a negative impact it is not true for all the camera but uh, you will find this problem in majority of the camera and that is the reason sony has not mentioned about the dynamic range of this camera if you look at their announcement you will not find anything about dynamic range normally when they launch a camera they always brag about that 14 stops of dynamic range 15 stops of dynamic dynamic range but with this camera there is no mention which somehow raises the flag that this camera's dynamic range is not going to be as good as Sony's other camera. In today's time, most of the modern cameras support dual gain ISO circuit and this dual gain ISO helps camera improve their low light capability. They perform better in low light. But this camera, there is no dual gain circuit. The other strange thing about this camera is its based ISO. This camera's base ISO is 250, not the 100. In the camera with global shutter, it's also been noticed that the low light performance of these cameras are not that good. And now these two things like the absence of uh, dual gain circuit and the base ISO is 250, it somehow shows that this camera might be Sony's first camera which might have or we can say that which will not perform as the normal Sony's camera uh, when it's come to a low light performance and that is the reason they have added a new composite capture mode in their camera where the camera takes a series of raw photos combine them and give you a clean photo now this feature is again uh, i mean confusing because on all the other manufacturer they provide this feature to enhance the resolution a super resolution mode for example this camera only give you 24.6 megapixel so wouldn't it be better if sony provide us a super resolution mode instead of uh, giving us a cleanest image again this shows that they are prioritizing the image quality which means that this camera might have a not so good low light performance as compared to other sony cameras this camera is going to be expensive it's going to be launched with a super high price tag and not everyone would be able to afford this camera but that being said a global shutter can be helpful uh, in a lot of scenario and i would say all the high-end wedding photographer event photographer and sports and you know action photographer they would love to go for this camera so that's it for today's video guys if you have any question please drop a comment below and i'll try to reply as soon as i can and please show your love like this video subscribe to my channel and let me know if you want me to cover any particular topic for you i'll try and do that as soon as i can so that's it i'll see you soon with my next video till then bye bye